Right, uh, welcome to day five of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths. Uh, please be sat with an adult or a, um, a member of your family and uh, please have a piece of paper and a pencil and uh, please call out and please uh, say what you think the answer is and love your mistakes. Okay, we're going to start. Uh, well, I'm going to start counting backwards in ones from 100. So please join in. Are you ready? Here we go. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90. Right, what's one less than 90? Turn to your partner. Yeah, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80. What's one less than 80? Yeah, 79, 78. Right, we'll stop there. We're going to stop at 78. We're going to count backwards in tens now. Are you ready? Going backwards in tens. So 78, get ready, 78, 68, 58, 48, 38, right, I'm going to stop there. What's 10 less than 38? Yeah, 28, right, okay. What's, we're on 28, what's 20 more? Two tens, 20 more than 28. Two tens, I'm going to add two more tens here, 20 more, 28 add 20. That's right, 48. Fantastic. Right, okay. Now you're going to need a, your pencil now. I'm going to make you a number. And I'd like you... Oh, sorry. I'd like you to um, uh, write it on your piece of paper. Are you ready? So have a look. What's that number? We've got four hundreds, one ten, and three ones. Write it down for me. That's right, 413. 413. Okay, here we go. Let's do another one. Have a go at that one. Okay, look at the hundreds. We've got five and a bit. So uh, that's a seven. And we've got uh, three tens. So 700, 700, three tens, 730. Oh, there's nothing there. Don't forget to put the placeholder, will you? 730. Fantastic. Okay, let's make another number. Oh, turn that off. Okay, what's that number? Can you write that one down for me, guys? Okay, it's got four hundreds, it's got zero tens, don't forget the placeholder, and it's got five and a bit, it's got five and one more, it's got six ones. Uh, 406, did you remember this one? Do you remember to put that placeholder there to say that there were no tens? Fantastic. Okay, right, now we're going to do some counting in threes. Here we go, counting in threes. Okay, joining with me, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And again, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Right, okay, close your eyes, heads down. No beeping, I'm watching you, no beeping. I'm not really watching, I can't see. Okay, open your eyes again. What can you see? What number's missing? What's under the star bar? Three, six, nine, twelve. Well done if you said twelve. Here we go. Next one. Here comes the next one. Eyes shut, heads down. Open your eyes again. Thinking time. Turn to your partner. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Okay. Eyes shut again. Heads down. No peeping. <laughs> no peeping. What have I done there? Peep now. You can look now. What have I done? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Oh, I was thinking expecting 21. But, oh, there it is. Ah, oh, I swapped them around. Ha ha. There you go. Okay, let's try the next thing. So let's use our counting in threes for the duck shoot game. Okay, we're going to do counting in threes. Okay. Now we're after 33, this duck is at 12, so you have to count in three. So 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. Okay. okay, I'll give you some time to do it yourself this time. So count in threes, count the ducks in threes. So start at six, off we go. Six, nine, 12. Here we go. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. 
Youch! Sorry. You are 15. Uh, time to do it on your own. Have a go. Okay, let's see which one it is. Zero, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, I've got all oh, got three bullet holes there, look. Okay. Six. We're starting from six. Where's fifteen? Give you time to do it. So here we go, just go together. Six, nine, twelve, uh, fifteen. There we go. One more. One more, no more. Uh, nine. We're starting at nine. We've got to find 21. Off you go. Nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, now this is quite a year one-y one, this one. So, this one adds up to... The two add three is greater than... Three add two, mm, something, one. Missing symbol, one. Two add three is five. Is greater than three add two missing symbol one. Hmm, what's the symbol that's missing? Three add two is five. Two add three is five. So that's five, and that bit's five. If that's add, three add two is five. Add one would be six. So this would be down here. So what must that symbol be? Yeah, it's a takeaway. Fantastic. So three take away two, th sorry, three add two is five, five take away one is four. Let's try the next one. Okay, this is a year one, one. Nine is equal to five add something. Five add missing number. What's that number going to be? It's a single digit number, so there's only one space there. What's that number going to be? Yeah, it's four. Okay, let's try another one. Now, this is quite a year two -y one, I think, perhaps. Uh, we've kind of done... A little bit similar to this before. 21, add missing number. is only a single digit. Is greater than 27. 21, add something. Is greater than 27. Hmm. Hmm. There's a few options. Let me try a few out. Uh, let me try five. 21, add five would be 26, which can't be greater than 27. Let's try six. 21, add six would be 27 so that would be equals 27 so it's not six so it's got to be seven Let's try seven 21 add seven would be 28 28 is greater than yes yeah, so it could be seven eight or nine there you go we've got nine okay next game but i'm sorry i'll cut the top and the bottom off with my recording sorry about that okay right so this game is called balloon flight edition and in year two you need to be able to add three single digit numbers in your head okay so one of the tricks when adding three single digit numbers is to see if any of the numbers add up to 10. So we're going to play a game where we're looking for three, adding three single digit numbers and looking for two that add up to 10. Okay, here they come. So have a look, which of, is there any of those balloons that add up to 10? Mm. Yeah, two and eight, feeling great. Two and eight, feeling great. Now they'll come back, come back balloons. So those two add up to 10. 10 add 5 is 15. Okay, let's try the next one. So looking for the two numbers that add up to 10. Here they come. Ooh, which two? Which two add up to 10? Mm, 2 and 8 feeling great. 2 and 8 feeling great. So that's 10. Come back, balloons. Those two add up to 10. And 10 add that number is... 13. Okay, here comes the next one. Which of those add up to 10? 2 and 8, feeling great. So those two add up to 10. 10 add 7. What would 10 add 7 be? 10 add 7. Come back, balloons, we need you. 10 add 7. 17. Which of those add up to 10? 3 and 7 made in heaven. Those two add up to 10. So 10 add 8. 10 add 8. 10 add 8. Yeah, 18. Well done. Oh, last one. One more, no more. Let's do one more. Mm. What have we got? 
Which of those add up to 10? Yeah, 2 and 8, feeling great. So that's 10. 10 add 3 is 13. Awesome job, guys. Here we go. What's what's next? A little bit of place value. We're going to do lifeguards. Okay, save the swimmer by using your place value. So where is that swimmer at? This swimmer keeps going out and getting um, in trouble in the sea. So 39. Now I've got to make 39. Can you write on your piece of paper how with his with the little thingies here how you would make thirty nine? Okay, I'll have a go now. Uh, we've got hundreds, tens, and ones or units, three tens, and then lots of units, lots of ones. Uh, sorry, guys, sorry, you have to wait for me to do this. Here we go. I'll press check. Good. Next. Here we go. We'll see what's next. Are you ready? Oh, it keeps getting out there. Uh, 40 something. What is it? 45. 45. How would you make 45? Can you draw, draw some circles? Tens and ones. How would you make 45? Okay. 10. 20. 30. 44 tens and how many units how many ones that's it and five ones let's go rescue them thanks oh sorry <laughs> waiting a bit to do the next thing and it's me it's waiting for sorry right okay now he's stuck where is he yeah 32 how would you make 32 Okay, three tens and two ones. Good. Last one. Oh, that's me again, waiting for me again. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Oh, where is he now? He really needs to stop swimming. 48. How would you do 48? Can you make 48 for me? Draw 48. Yeah, four tens. And oh, lots of ones. I'm sorry. You have to wait for me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, that's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. 48. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, whoop. Okay, uh, let's try something else now. Okay, oh, yeah, we'll finish, I think. Let's finish. So, oh, hang on. Let's reload that. Uh, right, we're going to do numbers so we're doing play your cards right okay uh, but this time it's going to be a little trickier because uh, I'm going to hide these numbers so we're going from 41 to 60 just to remind you 50's in the middle hmm now 56 this is going to be harder where's 50? where's 50 56 must be about almost halfway or past halfway to 60 so fit between 50 and 60 is about it's three quarters of the way along here. So I reckon there's going to be lower. Okay. Ooh, yes. All right, next one. What do you think? Okay, let's have a look. So uh, 50 is about here. 47 must be about here. What do you think? Higher or lower? I reckon higher. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, that's quite a good one, actually. Why is that a good one? Tell your partner why that's a good one to have. Yeah, because 43 is about here, see? So there's loads up here. So what do you reckon? Higher or lower? I reckon higher. Yes. Okay. Now that's a tricky one. Why is that a tricky one? 49. Yeah, because it's about, it's just one less than 50. So it could be all of those or all of those. <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm going to go lower. Ooh, yes. Oh, I might beat my... I normally get three. Let's see if I can get four this time. Uh, so 44, 44. What do you reckon? Higher or lower? Higher or lower? Yeah, 44 is probably... There's 50. There's 41. 44 is probably about here. What do you reckon? Oh, we're so going to win. We're so going to win something bigger this time. Yay! What do we win? A fridge! My word! With a drinks thingy. I've never had one of them. Okay, guys. Brilliant job. Um, What rewards should we have? 
Uh, right, okay. Um, so you win a little bag of fairy dust. And you know when you get your dinner and you don't really fancy it, you don't really like it. Like for me, it's shepherd's pie. I make shepherd's pie, but I don't like it. Um, and then, but the thing is, in this little um, bag, you've got this sprinkly dust. And if you sprinkle while your family's not looking, this little sprinkly dust on your dinner, it tastes exactly like your favourite thing. So for me, it'd be curry. So as you sprinkle it, say, chicken curry. And then while you're eating it, your family say, oh, you're so good eating your shepherd's pie. I know you don't like shepherd's pie, but actually it tastes like chicken curry and they don't know it. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, guys. Uh, so see you tomorrow. Well done.